Tighter, so I hope you're ready for today's nutrition talk. I've been wanting to do it on tea for a very long time, but first, LA superstar Kobe Bryant just launched his own series called Mission, exclusively on YouTube on Take Part TV. It's about his visit to Skid Row to visit the homeless. I've never seen Kobe in this type of content, so it was great to see a role model like this take on a cause. Before I went down to the mission, I didn't have any expectations. Hey man, I'm trying, I'm trying to get rid of homelessness, man. There's only but so many championships you can win. You know, I wanted to create a change or affect the movement. Check it out right here on Take Part TV and also learn how you can help Kobe fight homelessness. Now on to our nutrition talk for today. So I wanted to do the next nutrition talk on teas. I have my glass and I have my tea, which smells really good. Tea seems to smell really good. You can get, um, depending on how you, how strong you like your tea. If you like a lot, very, very strong, go ahead and put a lot in there. But if you want something very soft and, and not so harsh, don't put that much. So again, I get a spoon and I put my tea leaves in my tea. Then from there, I get hot water. I put it and I just let it uh, seep for about maybe five minutes, depending on the tea. Some need longer in order to get all the um, uh, the benefits of the tea out okay so then you put your top on you have hot tea sitting at your desk or at your house or wherever you are and you want to drink tea so it's pretty neat and interesting from there you then pour it into your cup 
But then, after I got hooked on the tea, again, maybe two years ago, I found a company called Libra Tea. So Libra Tea, I did research and I said, I want the best teacups that I can find portable because drinking tea is so much fun, I want it everywhere I go. That is where the Libra Tea glass comes in. So this is an awesome glass. It, you can put hot and cold uh, water in here as well. And guess what it has? It has a handy dandy filter at the top. So the same thing applies. I open this up and I have water in it because I just washed it. So I open it up, I put my tea leaves in here, and then I put my top on. And people are often saying, they see, and it's really neat because you get to see the tea leaves in the cup. I often get a lot, what in the world are you drinking? I mean, that looks disgusting. So people have no idea that I'm drinking natural tea, holding in a cup, just like I would be holding a coffee mug. But I'm holding healthy tea with no sugar and no artificial colorings or anything. It's natural tea. Super cool, and I use it every day. And then you can just drink. If you don't want it, you can put it here. And I'll, you know a lot of glasses don't seal very good. Well, I... Um, give kudos to this glass because it really does. So I'll sometimes shake my tea to really get it because you'll see if you put your tea at the bottom, you pour your water, sometimes the tea leaves don't circulate. So I'll sometimes do this to my tea to get the tea leaves moving around and voila, I have a fully green cup usually because I drink green tea the most of tea and it's so amazingly awesome. I use this cup all the time. I highly recommend it. I'll put the link in the bottom of the box so that you can check it out and they're not that expensive. The company always has sales, so always be on the lookout for this tea glass. So it's called Libra's L-I-B-R-E, okay? And hopefully I'm saying it right. So from there, again, the whole fun part for me in looking at teas is being able to try different teas. I like to, I started off at green tea, I drank green tea for an entire year until I said, hmm, I wonder what else is out there. I'm gonna try some different teas. While green tea is good, let's try. So this is my green tea. And those of you that are familiar with H Mart, that's where I get my green tea. Um, uh, this particular green tea has um, brown rice in it as well. So the brown rice, of course, for the antioxidants and the benefits of the green tea, you name it. I mean, it's, it goes a lot. So again, you put a, the amount of tea in leaves in as you want, depending on how strong you want it. So this is a really cool um, bag. This will last me maybe, it can last me maybe four months. I mean, it's, it's good stuff. And at H Mart, it's not that expensive. So I know there's quality of tea. I know some of you may have um, shopped at Tivana or there might be another local tea store near you and you might have tea leaves that come in a little bag and you only get a little bit of it and that's why I tend not to do that because shopping for tea can be very expensive. But like I said, if you're a Grouponer or a Living Social or a Half Off Depot, I mean you can get a lot of good discounts if you're staying on it at your local wholesale store or grocery store to get some really expensive teas and have the benefit of it. So that was my green tea. I already showed you my jasmine tea. And I don't like to have too many at one time because tea, you know, you want to keep it in a seal tight uh, container like this. This particular tea, uh, my green tea, I do pour into a very, very uh, similar container to this to keep the uh, tasting because you don't want the tea to get old and tea can get old. And so again, my jasmine tea right now. And then I also bought this. And you see this in a pack, but since I have my cup, I pour it out of the pack into the cup. So this is actually corn silk tea. And you're probably thinking, what in the world is that? I also got it from H Mart. So H Mart, I would say, in terms of if you've heard of this store, it's probably the best store to get these types of teas from. So this is corn silk tea, and you can pour it into your cup, and you can drink it. It's going to look like brown, nasty stuff, but it's really not, and it's good. So I believe tea is definitely an acquired taste. Uh, when I first started drinking green tea, I was like, oh, this isn't that good, but then as I continued, I got in a taste for it, and now I love it. It's great. I don't need sugar. I never added sugar to it anyway, but if you do, try to, you know, use it as maybe stevia or something healthy. Hopefully, you don't need to put any sugar in it at all. So that is kind of my tea spill. Like I said, the health benefits of tea, I mean, there are, I mean, high blood pressure. I heard it can help with um, stronger bones, and I even drink it after. If I eat, even if I eat healthy, if I eat a meal, and I'm like, man, my stomach feels really full. I don't think I can move. I'll go and get me some green tea. And it really does help alleviate the stomach a little bit, which I think is awesome. And in terms of, um, think about it as your hydration. You're drinking water, tea, which most people, why most people don't drink tea because they think, oh, this is just flavored water. I'm not drinking this crap. Well, in a sense, it is flavored water because you're putting your hot water in there. So that's another way to stay hydrated. And so when I keep track of my water each day with my log, I count it as my tea. Okay, so that's just some 
I mean, that's my water intake. So that's just an idea of something you can do. Hopefully you guys can get on teas as well. Maybe you can purchase a Libra tea glass and when you're traveling in the car, going to work, or wherever you need to go, you can use your tea glass. Or if you prefer the traditional tea kettle, which I also got this at H Mart, and they're all over. If you just, you know, type in filtered tea glass, I mean, there's so many different kinds. If you like uh, characters, uh, animals, they have them in these uh, tea glasses. So check that out. Let me know what you think. If you uh, drink tea, let me know your favorite tea in the comment box. I'd love to know. And again, I hope you guys can get on drinking tea.